We're here at the Fran Hansen Discovery Center in the South Carolina Botanical Garden, and I like to stand back and get the bigger view sometimes. So look across the valley there and see the Hansen Center perched on top of the hill, but I want to focus on all of that yellow in the midst of our, one of our nature-based sculptures. The sculpture itself is named the Dedication of the Sunflower. So we chose a special little plant, the African Xenia, to take these harsh, dry, hot conditions to make a splash of color representative of the petals of the sunflower. So let's go down and take a closer look at this special little plant. We've come here to the dedication of the sunflower nature-based sculpture to look, take a close look at the little African Xenia, Xenia linearis. Now this is a little used plant, certainly not used as often as the plant would merit, but this whole mound here, minus this little bit of crabgrass, is one Xenia plant. They don't do well at garden centers and uh, nurseries as far as in the cell packs because when you buy a cell pack that's about all you'll find and that's a very vigorous one in a little cell pack and it probably doesn't even have this flower on it and it's often weeping and stringy so people walk along and see a six pack of these little plants and don't even give it a second view but I'm just telling you, before the summer is at, you'll have a great mound of yellow flowers that have been blooming all summer, and they'll bloom right on until the frost. But give those little stringy plants a chance, and they will make a magnificent color, as shown here in the South Carolina Botanical Garden.